uh, in this game before and understand uh, what they're going up against. Going up against a very well coached uh, coach. I think has been there what 12 years. Yeah, going um, 13. Very very um, sound in what they do. They've had their system. There's something to be said for that. And uh, uh, we we talked to them about our preparation for the first two weeks. Every day I've come in here and I've said, Hey man, we had a good day today. We had a good day today. But obviously we're not. We're not getting it done because there's not there's not that retention. Uh, we haven't translated to the field in a complete game. We've done a lot of really good things. So I challenge them today that hey, you know this is going to be this going to be this going to be tough. It's going to be a challenge. And, and the, the team that we're playing is going to be the, probably the best coach team we probably play all year. I mean, I think they're one of the best coach teams. Uh, you look at what they do on all three phases. They're just not going to beat themselves. Um, I think uh, you know we talked to our guys about how physical it's going to be. This is going to be a different game than what we've played in. We've been playing it spread stuff. It's completely different. This is going to be, you know, pound and flesh for four quarters. And uh, it's not going to be one in the first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, at the end of the fourth quarter, maybe overtime, maybe no. That's going to be that kind of hard, hard fought game. And it's going to require a lot of discipline. And we've got to put the game together. And I, and I really thought our guys had a good practice today. We'll find out. You know, uh, you know, I'm out there every day, and my energy level sometimes when I come in here, and I, want, I ought to do this press con conference after I watch practice film because uh, I always, uh, you know, usually have a different perspective. But I like our guys' attitudes. I'm trying to convince them that, you know, sometimes you just don't know what you don't know. And what I'm telling them is that we are not practicing like we need to be practicing to win a championship. And those guys are responding and trying to strain and get better. Uh, and I like their attitude today. I like how they worked. Uh, we worked really, really hard today on being more consistent. Our, our, our kicker, uh, Harper, kicked the ball a lot more consistent today. I think we've, we've got that. Hopefully, we've got that deal worked out a little bit. Um, um, uh, Yonklik uh, punted the ball well today, uh, and uh, as well as our, our backup punter did, too. He punted the ball really well. Uh, and. Uh, have we told them that? We told them what? Mark Meyer. Yeah, Mark's, Mark's, Mark's working as our backup punter. You just did, Coach. Okay. Just uh, I didn't know. I, I don't like not telling you stuff. And, and, uh, I like that attitude. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm strictly just want to tell you everything, Jerry. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, that's what EJ tells me to do, you know. Listen but uh, but no, uh, Mark Meyer is really punting the ball good, which I'm excited about because it gives us a little bit different dimension having a quarterback back there. So. Uh, I've got some competition there, and he is really punting the ball well. So we're excited about that. Uh, got to get better up front fundamentally on the offensive line. Got to get better uh, fundamentally on the defense. I liked our defensive line's attitude today. Man, our guys are, I'm, I'm telling man, take charge of this football team. And uh, the other thing, too, I think that, that, that I'm trying to get across these guys that, you know, I, I want you to play discipline, but I don't want you to play guarded. You know, it's like a, sometimes in the game I'm going, guys, it's like they, you can have fun. I think sometimes we're taking too much of the fun out of this game as long as we're doing it with class. We don't want to taunt other people things like that. So I so I mean look man, play. You know, have a you got supposed to play this game with a passion. So we focused on a lot of those things. They thought we had a productive day. Yeah, Questions? Just for clarity's sake. Is Mark Meyer actually competing for the punter job, or is he competing with Tino for the oh, no, 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 coach no. job? No, 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 no. Well, well, uh, it, that's a good point. We might, just, we might need to look at that. But, uh, just no, 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 no. Uh, uh, we uh, we have our what we call our what you're, what you're calling a pooch punt uh, that, that Tino operates. That we we basically is our um, you know our fourth down look deal, and then uh, um, uh, whoever the quarterback is will do that. You know that's in there, which will be Tino. Um, so if, if Tino's in there or Trey was in there or Mark was in there, they would do that. Uh, I'm talking about when our punt unit goes out there, he is working as the backup punter and really has some promise. And uh, so we're excited about that. Is your message in your shirt? Yeah, you need to get some takeaways. I mean, that's uh, – we take care of the football. You know, that's the thing I, I told him. We go into Iowa. We, we better come out of there with 100% ball security. And we better get takeaways. And you look at the, the, the last week's game, that's, that's what happened. Turn the ball over is how Iowa State really scored on them, you know, and set up scores. So uh, uh, that's going to that's going to be a big key, and I think that that's. Uh, I mean, I, it's it's been very slow going uh, on that, and that's not something that we're used to, and we've got to emphasize that more. I think kind of what happens, Jared, to be honest with you, is that you've got such new systems and schemes, and you start spending all your time working on techniques and schemes, and then you forget to focus on blocking and tackling and getting the ball. Make sense? Yeah. Takeaways. Because whatever you emphasize, you can't have, I don't believe in having seven, eight, nine, ten objectives. You know, you, you, you've got to 
focus on one, two, three things at the most, and then you, whatever you focus on, that's what you're going to wind up getting. So, you know, we want to focus on takeaways. We want to focus on stopping the run, okay? And then we want to focus on being a physically tough defense. I mean, and that's getting after people, flying the football, and people uh, be known for our relentless effort. Coach, in, in addition to your challenge increasing, you're also going on the road. And uh, you talk about how that uh, might change uh, the mindset of maybe some of your younger players and as a group, the first time to, to get on the road this season. Yeah, I think this is going to be – there's two two places that are the most hostile this year. We're going to go to Iowa and West Virginia are going to be the two that, that are going to be – and this one's going to be really, really loud. It's going to be really, really uh, uh, hostile environment for you guys to go in. And that's our freshman. You only get prepared for that by doing it. And uh, uh, so uh, the key is for us is not to have stupid penalties, not to turn the football over, not to have a bunch of mental mistakes, okay? And, uh, and, and that's to, you know, really execute. we got to execute what we're doing. And uh, only have four. Only go on the road four times. So, man, I mean, we, and these four, are, each one of these road games are always big. You know, you know your home field is, is the biggest advantage in football. And uh, uh, so this is going to be a – and we know what kind of football team we're going to play. And uh, these, we got to go. We got to play our best game, and I really believe that our kids will. I really believe that we're going to play our best game. This is also the start of a, a run with. Uh, you know, I know you don't want to look ahead, but Notre Dame and South Florida and some some difficult challenges back to back. Oh yeah, the 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 the, uh, the, the soft part of our schedule is over with, and uh, it's tough here on out. Every week, you better bring it. And uh, and I tell you what, it's worked out pretty good for us. You know, I mean that that, that we've had. I'm, I'm very thankful that we had it that way because it's worked out well. Uh, but we've got to see, you know, marked improvement, and uh, uh, you know, it's going to be tall order going into Iowa. But that's what, that's what that's what it's all about. These games are what you practice for, play for. Is go be able to play in this environment, and uh, we're going to have to. It's going to be a it's going to be a slugfest. I mean, and, and for for us to be successful, we've got to be disciplined because what they will do, they'll play extremely physical. They will not do things to beat themselves. They'll be very sound about what they're doing, and they'll be very simple about what they're doing. So we've got to make sure that we execute our system. And I'm confident that we will. When they came here the last time, they used a lot of like three tight ends and fullbacks and stuff like that. Would you, I don't, I mean, I'm just asking you kind of a scheme kind of question, but when you play teams like that, do you, do you put a fourth defensive lineman on the field? Or, I mean, how do you counter that if they're going to put that much size and everything? Do you well, know what I mean? Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's a good point. I think that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, we play. You know, we play teams that are two and three tight ends. We, you know, we'll be in a five-three type of look. Uh, whether the guy's standing up or not, just you know, it to me is irrelevant. Uh, it, it's uh, uh, you can't. We don't. We don't really play. Even our our system's not a three-down system. We've got bigger. Our whole idea. Our outside backers are bigger guys. They're all two twenty-five or bigger. You know, you got Lindsey's uh, plays one on one. Price is about two twenty. He's probably smallest, but he's very powerful. Uh, so. Uh, uh, you know, much like you see the Steelers do when they play two tight end sets. Uh, you know, that's, uh, you know, uh, we, uh, but you got to execute what you execute, what you do. You can't uh, try to fit some new deal each week. But we, we, we do adjust depending on uh, what the surface is. And you can't line up three defensive linemen. They've got seven guys across the front. In your experience at Rice and Tulsa, you played the Oklahomans and Notre Dames. Was the week different? You know, was the practices different than playing some other team? You know, uh, yeah, it was there. I mean, because it was just different. You know, it, the feels different. It's like uh, uh, we were kind of one of the we were kind of the small guy, and we we're going up against the the, the big giant. You know, and uh, so our guys really looked forward to those games and always practiced really well. And, but you know, I mean, how it translates to the game. I, I mean, you know, I mean, it's all about your purpose and what you're investing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't think we invest enough, you know, right now. We, we don't know enough about how to prepare uh, in, you know, because, you know, they got to come in and voluntarily watch them extra and things like that. And our guys are, start, are learning to do some of those things. And, and you got guys that are, it ain't, like, it ain't like I'm telling them something new. I mean, every coach in the country is telling guys to do that. Uh, but you get into what you, what you put out of it, and it's maturity. I think when you have young guys are learning those things, guys that are just now getting on the field are just learning those things. And the veteran guys like Ray Graham and Jacobson, that's one guy we haven't mentioned, has played unbelievable for two weeks. Outstanding, just stellar. And uh, you look at, uh, you know, he, he overachieves every game. The guy's been, been phenomenal. But you know what? The guy's in here, I mean, he, he's in here every time I turn around, you know, watching film, studying, 
uh, taking pride in it. So we're, we've got to learn how to prepare, and, and that's part of us teaching. But you know, you know, uh, you can't make them do it. So they got to, got to volunteer their time. That's part of getting that experience. And uh, got some young guys too that need to get on the field. I mean, we out here at practice. I'm watching Darius Patton run around. Yeah, obviously, they understand Sunday. what's different, especially the veteran guys. Do you, do you look for ways to? I mean, either just teaching or to try and improve that retention. I mean, what can you do as coaches? I, I think I think that? everything that you do. Uh, that's why I spend so much time with uh, talking about the pit way, uh, talking about your character. I think how you do anything is how you do everything. And and if you, that's why we focus so much on doing things the right way all the time. Because if you're substandard, if you're just going to class to pass class, then that's going to show up on the field. If you're, you, we want guys to compete in the classroom as they compete on the field. And it's, and it's not just because we think academics are important, it's because I think it affects them on the field. And so uh, uh, a lot of that is just is, is still hammering in and getting them to, to buy into the pit way. And, and I, I tell you, I think they are. I really do. I, think our, I know our seniors have been great. Uh, they've really uh, pushed hard. I think Ray Graham has been off the chart. Zach Brown's been off the chart. The offensive line uh, veteran seniors been off the chart. We just got some young guys learning, and, uh, and we've just not executed. Uh, if we'll execute and we won't have penalties and we won't turn the ball over, we're going to score points. So we're, st we're doing it to ourselves in a lot of ways. But I'm looking for our best game this week. Good. Coach I'm counting on it. Thank you very much. 2-0, fired up.